Good morning. Anybody out there? Oh, I hear a baby. Somebody's up. Somebody's up. Good morning. This eye is killing me. Good morning. Oh, it's not looking too good either. Yikes. Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. How is everybody doing this morning? Good morning, good morning. Um, I hope that everybody is doing well. I know there's like different snow coming to different parts of the country. Um, and I don't know, I hope so. I hope those of you that got a bunch of snow are doing well. Um, those of you that are in warm places like California and Florida, I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Uh, it is freezing. It was freezing in Birmingham yesterday. Um, my sweet friend, um, Elizabeth from Nashville, gave me this mug. And it was clean, so I decided to use it. So, hello, Nashville. I don't know what that accent was. I have no idea. Um, all right, so you guys really liked yesterday's coffee talk. Uh, over 70, I think over 70,000 people watched it. It was a good one. It was important. If you... I uh, did not get a chance to watch yesterday's. Go back and watch yesterday's. It was really, really good. Um, anyway, I um, wanted to talk to you guys this morning about something that I realized that has truly, truly, like, set me free. You know, every once in a while I have these aha moments where I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to talk to Coffee Talk people uh, about this. My eyes are killing me today. Um, thank you, Amanda. Thank you to everybody who's read my book. Um, it's not easy to have five stars on Amazon. So I really appreciate uh, all of the ratings and the comments about my book. Um, to all of you who have bought it, it's been unreal for me. Thank you. And to everyone who shared Coffee Talk yesterday, thank you for sharing it. That was huge. Um, okay, listen, Danny Gill, thank you for sharing this video right now. All right, I want to talk to you guys about something I realized. So in my journey on making friends, um, I realized that a lot of times I would make friends and we would be hot and heavy for like nine months to a year. Okay, we would have this very intense friendship and it would be amazing and we would share so much and we would whatever. And then I would realize that around like the one year mark, and this was not always, sometimes it was longer, sometimes it was three years, sometimes it was five years, but there was always this season where the friendship started to unravel. Um... Amber, the name of the book is The Southern Education of a Jersey Girl. Um, so anyway, I realized that what was happening was I was not choosing people who love like me. And at the end of the day, my love is not for everybody. The way that I love is not for everybody. And it hurt my feelings. It hurt my feelings for years. For years, my feelings were hurt. I felt slighted. I felt jaded. I felt like I poured so much into you. Why would you take all of that from me and then decide I'm not right for you? Even in relationships, friendships, whatever. Like, if... Why allow me to fill you and then move on? 
it hurt me so bad for so long, so many, so many lost people. And I realized that the truth is you've got to find people who love the way you do. When you meet someone and people keep telling you how different you are, you need to understand that there is truth in that. We spend so much time, time trying to defend that. It doesn't matter that we're different. Uh, opposites attract, blah, blah, blah. This ain't Paula, Duel, Paula Abdul, you're not Scat Cat. And like opposites attract, but they don't always, Michael and I struggle. Michael and I are super opposite and it's a struggle. I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you. When you are in love with somebody who has a different love language than you, doesn't give or receive love the way you do, doesn't need love the way you do, doesn't value love the way you do, it is a struggle to stay in a monogamous, 100% showing up every day, I love you, you love me marriage. Because it is literally like coming into a room with someone who speaks a different language and eats different food and believes different things. It's all different. So when you have friends and you are so um, different from them, when you love different from them, when you feel like you are showing up harder, you are riding harder, you are pouring into them and they are not giving back the same thing, you need to know right away, they don't love the way you do. Now that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to have friends like that. You just need to be aware that there is most likely gonna come a time where they are full of the love that you have to give and they start to back off because it's too much for them. And you need to be okay with that. Real talk, it is heartbreaking. I have been there where you are literally like, oh my God, this friend who I loved so much, who I loved through all of her hardest times is backing away from me. And my instinct wants to chase her. And I am heartbroken and I miss her. But the truth is she doesn't love like me. And my love is too much for her. She's had all she can take. And now she wants to quietly go back into the night and I need to let her go. And that is the truth. And it has happened to me and it will continue to happen to me and it will happen to you. And we have got to start being more honest with ourselves about who we truly are and who we surround ourselves with. Because if not, we walk around constantly breaking our own hearts and pointing the finger at other people. But like, you broke my heart. But like, you broke my heart. Like, no. Uh-uh. You need to surround yourself with people who love like you do. And that is the truth. Because let me, let me speak to... It is heartbreaking, Kim Gilbert. It is heartbreaking. Let me speak to the introverts. Let me speak to the people who love differently than I do. Let me speak to the people who have much different lang love languages than I do. Listen to what I'm saying. Oftentimes you find yourself attracted to people like me. Big personalities who love you over the top. We want to love you back to life. We want to pick you up off the ground and we want to carry you with our love because we are big over the top lovers. I'm talking, to, I'm talking to the people who are not like me now. When somebody like me comes into your life, I want you to understand that we are prepared to be there forever. We want to love you like that long time. And you know that you can't take that long term. And it is up to you guys to be honest with the people who are loving you in that way, who are lifting you up and carrying you with their love, you've got to say, uh, we should try to like 
manage expectation here because our love languages are very different. And I feel like three to six months from now, six months to a year from now, whatever, this is going to be more for me than I can take. And I'd like to figure out a way for this friendship to go the long haul. If you guys don't be honest with us, we don't understand. We give you the only love we understand. We only know how to love one way. So we think it's what you want. We think it's what you need. We come in with our big love. We clean it all up. We pick you up. We're over the top love. We are ride or die. We're here. We're checking on you. We're doing all the things that we do. And then you guys decide a year from now that it's more than you don't need that much. And just so you know, it, it breaks the hearts of people like me. It does. It breaks the hearts of people like me. The reason that Michael and I are still together is because uh, we're married and we have children and we can't just run away from each other. So we had to go to therapy and we got, we had to work through it. And Michael had to look at me and say, it's a lot. Your love is a lot. It is more than I am used to. It is more than I am comfortable with. And I thought, how the F did I end up in forever and always with somebody who is, who finds my love too much? How did I marry somebody who finds my kind of love too much? But the truth is I did and I'm in it and I'm here and I'm committed and we got to make it work. We got to figure it out. But there are people in my life who have walked away because they took what they needed from my love and then realized they didn't need all that anymore. And that is painful. So to people like me, I'm going to tell you, well, all people. You got to surround yourself with people who love like you do so you don't burn out on them. So you don't use them unwit like unknowingly. Like I'm not saying that people go into it um you know willingly using people, but we all sort of subconsciously take what we need from people. But people who love like me it is hurtful when we give so much to you and we pour so much into you and you take what you need and then you just move on. It's, it's hard for us because we are invested lovers and we, inve we love hard and we love you through the hard shit and we want to be loved back when we need it. And when you pull away, it is hurtful. It is hurtful. And this coffee talk is important because... The most important thing about coffee talk is that it opens your eyes. It makes you think. It may not always apply to you, but it should make you think. And that's all I'm saying is if you listen to this and it made you feel something or think, then we're on the right road. Um, yes, Cindy, I agree with you. Sometimes our love becomes overwhelming. Um, that is why I am encouraging people to surround themselves with people who love like they do because I just feel like it will work better in the long run. This is just my opinion, my experience. Thank you to everybody who shares this video. If you could just hit that little share button right down there, hit share and say, hey guys, you got to check her out. I appreciate it. Um, those of you that read my book, I appreciate you. And those of you that found me on Instagram yesterday, uh, there was about a hundred of you. It was so fun. Um, I am Jamie P. Sullivan on Instagram. Some of you are having a hard time finding it. I think you're not spelling Jamie right. It's J-A-I-M-E. P. Sullivan. Um, all right. I love you guys so much today. Please share this video. Please, because I can see who shares it and it means so much to me. Just click share right there. I love you guys so much. Have a great day.